Hi everyone, I'm Heather with Burner Babies and you have gotten the link to this video because you've just gotten the email to make your pickup appointments to pick up your new babies from us. So I'm making this video in hopes that, um, first of all, you'll watch it. <laughs> Um, but basically it's to provide all the information that's in your take home packet. So there's a lot of information. And when you get here to pick up your new baby, everybody's really excited and there's a lot of information to go over. So I'm hoping that by making this video, you'll watch the information and, um, retain it. And hopefully by going through the information, you kind of think of questions that you might have ahead of time versus kind of bombarding you with all this information while you're excited about meeting your new puppy. So, um, if you have any questions, you can either jot them down in an email and I can answer them ahead of time, or you can ask them when you're actually here picking up your puppy. Either way is completely fine with me. So um, when you first arrive and you pull into my driveway, you'll see that there is a green building that sits behind my home and you can actually just pull up to that green building and come on in. So depending on your particular puppy's personality, I will either be holding them waiting for you to come in or your puppy will be running around. It's really just based on whatever's going to make your puppy more comfortable. Uh, but just come on in and kind of remember that your puppy already knows that something is going on. Um, even if your puppy is the first one to leave, they already know that something is happening. So just kind of come in kind of calm and um, just knowing that your puppy is already a little apprehensive, especially those with kids. You know, if you come in really excited and um, loud, your puppy's really going to put the brakes on and, and not be so, um, excited that there's new people there. Uh, they're going to be more apt to kind of hide behind me and, um, not be so excited to meet the new people. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind that they already know that something's up. Uh, they're very intuitive and very, very smart. So, but pull up to the green building and come on in. So let's go ahead and get started about what's in your puppy packet. There's a ton of information to go over, and I just want to kind of go through that with you uh, before you guys get here. Okay, so the very first thing that um, we'll go through in your puppy packet is the health information. So you'll get something that looks like this. This is your puppy's health certificate. So this just shows that your puppy was seen by my vet and is nice and healthy. If there's any health concerns, um, I will actually go through that with you before you even pick up your puppy. Um, it's very rare, uh, but if that happens, I will definitely notify you before you even pick up your puppy. But this is your puppy's health certificate. It says that he or she was seen by my vet and is nice and healthy. Most vets um, on the other side don't care about this. This is more for your reference, but you are more than welcome to take this to your vet um, to show him or her that they were seen by my vet and is deemed nice and healthy. The next thing that you'll get is this. This is your puppy's shot and deworming records. You will definitely need to take this to your vet. They will want to document everything that we've done on our end in terms of shots and deworming. Um, so definitely make sure that you take this to your vet. This is the only copy that I have. Um, so it is very important that you do not lose this. Um, so keep this and take this to your vet. Once your vet has documented everything that we've done on our side, um, they usually just keep it or they hand it back to you and you're free to do with it whatever you want. Um, so the next thing that you're going to get in your packet is actually something new to our program. Um, everybody, not necessarily everybody, but I do get the question very often about pet insurance. I do not have pet insurance here at Burner Baby simply because it would cost me a small fortune to insure everybody. And there's not um, like a breeder's package per se. You actually have to insure individual dogs and it literally would cost me thousands of dollars a month. Um, but I have kind of dug into individual insurance companies. Uh, Trupanion and Nationwide are the ones that I have found are the best. And uh, Trupanion actually offers a, a breeder partnership where if you test your dogs and offer certain things to your uh, families, uh, including a health guarantee like ours and um, taking back your puppies if something happens, etc., they will partner with your families. So I do, I want to make it clear, I do not get any benefit if you sign up for this. <clears throat> but what you get, since I do those things, 
um, is a waiver. So you get 30 days for free and you don't have a 30 day waiting period. So that looks like this. This is a handout that you now get in your puppy packet. The, um, I guess, what do I want to say? The hitch, I guess, is that you have to sign up within 24 hours of picking up your puppy. So you can do that the day before, the day of, or the day after picking up your puppy. And you have to use uh, this code right here. So this links you to me. So um, they asked me a bunch of questions um, that I answered. And because I met all their requirements, you get this program. And so if you chose to sign up for this, you would have to use this code right here and that waives the 30 day waiting period. Um, so I went online um, and like got a mock uh, quote for Mamba, which is one of my youngest dogs here. And it was $75 a month. But the difference was they would only pay 80% for Mamba and because of this program, it pays 90% um, and a bunch of other things that you got during this program that I would not have gotten from Mamba. So this is something that if you are interested in pet insurance that you may want to look into, um, but this is now in your puppy packet. Okay, so that's Trupanion. The next thing in your puppy packet is what I call my transition letter. It looks like this, and it starts with the words congratulations. So what this talks about is like the first two weeks of your puppy being at home. It talks about kennel training, uh, puppy nipping, um, not eating, a lot of things that are already on our YouTube channel, um, but it, it really is a lot of information. It's about five pages long. There's a lot of good information in it. So if you, um, I really encourage that everybody goes through what's in this packet, but there is a lot of good information in here, a lot of good tips, a lot of good tricks, uh, just kind of things I've learned over the last several years. Uh, common questions that we've had just kind of compiled into a letter. So a lot of good information in here. Like I said, it's five pages long. So I really did try to take my time and put a lot of common questions and answers into this letter. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is how I've seen vets take advantage of my families. And that looks like this. It starts with the words, very important. Um, so in here, I just talk about how I've seen vets take advantage of my families. It includes several stories, including one of my own, um, and how I've seen vets take advantage of families in terms of dollars, in terms of um, pet losses, things like that. And so I just tell people, these dogs are mine for life. That does not stop when you pick up your puppy. So if you are about to spend a ton of money on something, if you are questioning what your vet says, you pick up the phone and you call me because I do not care what you pay your vet. I don't care if it's $50 or $5,000. If you are questioning what you are about to pay your vet or what they are saying at any age, if your puppy is 10 years old and you're like, Heather, I don't know if what they're saying is true. You pick up the phone and you call me and I will tell you everything I know based on my experience, based on what I have you know, heard from other people. And I will tell you what I know and if I think you need to go somewhere else. So this talks about stories, real stories that have happened to me and other people um, because of greed of vets. So um, please read this. The next thing we talk about is free feeding. So I don't know if you've watched other YouTube videos of mine, but we really encourage free feeding. That's where you fill the bowl full of food and you just keep it full. And that is to prevent bloat. You are picking up a large barreled chested dog, which they are more prone to bloat. Um, so if you always free feed, which is what we do here, um, they are less likely to experience bloat, which can be life-threatening. It's an emergency, and you may not always recognize the signs. I have lost uh, dogs to bloat, and this is very serious. And so if you can free feed, you really lessen your chances of bloat. If you are not going to free feed, we really recommend that you tack the stomach of your puppy um, to lessen the chances of bloat. Um, so this just talks about free feeding 
and how you can do that. We also have a video if you currently own a dog that is not free fed and how you can uh, transfer them from a time diet to being free fed. So really good information here. The next thing we're gonna talk about is dog food. So we feed Purina Pro Plan here. My puppies have it and so do my adults. And I really like Purina Pro Plan. This talks about, it starts with dog food, I'm sorry. Starts with the word dog food. Um, so this handout talks about a dog food seminar that my husband and I went to. It's been several years ago now. And this is the information that we learned um, and why we chose Purina and why we only support Purina, Hills, and Royal Canaan. It is because of that dog food seminar. It was put on by vets. It was not sponsored by any dog food company. And I feel like that was really important. Um, and I talk about that in this letter. Um, so good information in this note as well. The next thing we talk about is the vitamins. So this handout here, it's actually two pages long. I just printed off the first page. Um, this talks about the vitamins and why we use them. It starts with Dear Puppy Buyer. This actually comes from the vitamin company itself. Um, but good information here it talks about why we use them, what it supports, and why we continue, we ask that you continue to use them. This handout here is for those that took advantage of the training, either the obedience training, which talks about is talked about here on the top, and then the kennel training and their routine is talked about at the bottom. So we just um, kind of go over what to continue at home on um, both uh, the obedience training and the kennel training. It's a lot of information. It's making my throat dry. <laughs> um, the next talks about um, continuing training. So let's say a couple of years from now, whether you participated in any training here as a puppy or not, your dog is always more than welcome to come back here later. Um, if you are having an issue, um, let's say in a couple of years from now, your dog is jumping out of control and you cannot get him or her to stop, um, you can always bring your dog back here for obedience training. Um, it's usually about a two week program you can give me a list of all your issues and I will work on them for you. So this just talks about, um, you know, training later on, this, this handout here. The last handout in everybody's packet, it talks about health clearances and what those mean. Um, this is also a two page handout. So um, this just kind of runs down what um, health testing means and what that means for you and your puppy. <clears throat> So those handouts are in everybody's packet, whether you're getting a burner or a burner doodle. So obviously everybody, um, the burners and the burner doodles have different um, needs and therefore they do have individual handouts that are not in both packets. So just in the burner doodle packets <clears throat> is this handout. And this is called uh, burner doodle versus the Bernie's Mountain Dog. So I personally feel that people are drawn to the burner doodle because of the Bernie's Mountain Dog. And this particular handout just talks about the differences between the two breeds. Um, it talks about hair coats, personality, sizes, etc. Um, really good information in this one. In the burner doodle handout, also you'll get this one, and it is called about your burner doodle. Uh, this one, the highlighted areas areas are the particular burner doodle that you are picking up. So if you are picking up, like this one was for an F1B standard burner doodle. So it, it would highlight what burner doodle you're picking up. It would talk about their hair coat, their size, and then longevity is at the bottom. Um, and this one is just kind of for your personal reference, what to expect from the breed and, and things like that. So in the Bernice Mountain Dog only folder, you will get the following items. Um, so this is their AKC registration. Um, the burner doodles are not able to be registered, so we do not register them. But in the, uh, for the Bernie's Mountain Dogs, everybody is registered. And you could go up here. There's a uh, website that you could register your puppy. You are not required in, by any means to register them, but that is an option for you. So everybody gets the AKC registration. Um, you also get this handout here, and it starts with Bernie's Mountain Dog Puppy Growth. Um, so what this handout does is I would get the questions um, quite often about, 
Hey, Heather, I saw a dog at a, another Bernice, Bernice Mountain Dog at the dog park, and it was the same age as my puppy, but mine was bigger or mine was smaller. And this handout um, is several pages long. I think it's four pages, but it really talks about puppy growth from beginning all the way to full maturity, which is three years old. And it just talks about why that size difference is completely normal and completely okay. Um, really good information in this handout. So then while you're here, you'll be asked to sign two different things. So um, now that you've received the pickup information in the email, you will be sent a copy of our health guarantee contract, um, which is, I feel like, one of the best on of, a, of any breeder that I've ever seen. So we offer a money-back health guarantee um, on your puppy's hips all the way to full maturity, which is three years old, and then a lifetime money-back guarantee on the common genetic diseases that I can test for. So while you're here, um, I will have a copy of your health guarantee contract that you will sign. It looks like this. Your personal information will be here. Your puppy's information will be here. And then down at the bottom is um, the money due when you pick up your puppy. Um, and then however you pay what that total amount due is. So you will be asked to sign this contract when you pick up your puppy. And then the last thing that you'll be asked to sign is this. So this is just kind of like a recap of the contract, but things I like to say out loud. So the things I like to say out loud are, um, when you pick up your puppy, you have to take him or her to the vet, and then you have to mail me back something showing that he or she was there. Um, the next thing I like to say is that um, you cannot rehome, resell, or drop your puppy off at a shelter. If you cannot keep your puppy throughout their entire lifetime, your puppy does have to come back to me. Um, I am a stickler on this. I do not want my puppy. I want to know where my puppies are. And then the last thing I will say to you is that your puppy has to be spayed or neutered. Uh, depending on if you have a male or female, there is a time requirement on that. The only exception is if we happen to give you breeding rights, which is pretty rare. Um, and then I will ask you to sign that. So your puppy's information will be here, your personal information here, um, and then the amount that you paid down here. And then I will ask you to sign that. You get copies of all of this in your puppy packet as well. The difference is only my signature is on here. You're more than welcome to sign your copies as well. But you get copies of everything that you signed um, just with my signature on it in your puppy packet. Woo, that's a lot of information. <laughs> So you can see why, um, if you're excited, there would be a lot of, there's a lot of information there that may just kind of go in one ear and out the other. So, which is why I feel like these videos are such a wonderful thing. Um, there's a lot of information there to review. And um, when you're here, there's a lot of commotion going on. You know, the puppies running around and things of that nature. So... If you happen to have questions, please jot them down. Like I said, you can email them to me. You're more than welcome to ask them while you're here. Um, pickup day is a huge day. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I look forward to meeting everyone and introducing you to your new baby. We'll see everyone soon. Bye, guys.